Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, I'm gonna be showing you my newest custom, which is a version of Havoc that is based on a couple different versions of his 90s style outfits. Some have a little more yellow, some don't have all the details that I have here. This is kind of like an amalgamation. Amalgamation, I think that's how that word goes. Now that I'm saying it, it doesn't sound right, but I think that's the word I'm trying to use. Anyway, it's a mixture of a couple different versions of him. My customer wanted the one that had more blue than yellow without the yellow boots and that sort of thing. So this is what I came up with. Now a lot of people use the two-pack Wolverine body and just sculpt a little collar on there. And um, sometimes they use a gambit head, things like that. I don't really like the proportions of that body. And I don't like the gambit head at all. So what I did was I took the torso of that body and I spliced in some DC Universe Classics legs right underneath where these upper straps are. I just cut them off and then um, I put a screw into the thigh of Wolverine and into the lower part of the thigh of the DC figure. And I put, there's, so there's a line there. And then since Wolverine's legs, uh, his upper uh, upper thigh muscles, geez, I can't talk, uh, they didn't look quite right. So I re-sculpted the thighs to match the DC figure's thighs. Then I sculpted the straps, and I sculpted the straps down here as well. And uh, for the arms, I didn't like the Wolverine arms really either. They were just kind of too long and had odd proportions. So I took those off at the shoulder. So the shoulder's still Wolverine, and the rest are DC Universe Classics arms, actually. And I sculpted the sleeve on there, and I sculpted the glove thing to give him the proper look. I re-sculpted everything from the waist up, uh, part of the chest, I guess, underneath the, where, where the black part is, by the yellow part of the X, that's not re-sculpted, so I lied a little bit. But the whole, uh, the entire jacket is sculpted. Uh, the front part, the lower part, has the uh, quilted pattern, like the checkerboard type pattern, and the top just has the uh, stitching going around it. That's the way I thought it looked best. <clears throat> Uh, it wouldn't make sense to have the quilted pattern all the way up at the top, I don't think. So I didn't do that, and the back is just plain. Uh, then I took the neck, because the neck on Wolverine is uh, considerably long. It's very tall and kind of sticks out forward weird. So what I do is I cut that off right underneath where the uh, swivel would be. Uh, pretty much where that black seam is for the shirt to the neck part. And uh, I cut that off, and I sunk it down in inside the the chest cavity a little bit and then I re-sculpted it over that to lower the head and reposition it a little bit the neck and the head and it gives him a much more natural look his head's not sticking up quite so far hold it back so you can kinda of see the proportions so I think he has much better proportions this way the legs are just a tad bit longer but they're a little bulkier and then the arms are actually a little bit shorter but a little bulkier so I think it makes the figure just have a better look overall so after I uh, relocated the neck I took a uh, long shot head and I sculpted the mask or collar whatever you call that onto it and I reshaped the nose just a little bit it didn't need too much but it kind of was big for me so I took it down a little bit and then I sculpted the hair each piece individually which I'm perfectly happy with how it came out but oh my goodness it took forever I, uh, I'm not a big fan of the solid chunks of hair especially for something that's supposed to be more windswept like this so instead of just doing that and putting waves in it I wanted to actually sculpt each one individually and it took forever making each one and putting it in over and over again but I think the results are good so let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think the time paid off, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what I think. The customer hasn't really seen it yet, so it's going to be exciting for him to see it finally. He saw like a sneak peek picture, and he really liked it, but he hasn't seen it up close. So I'm pretty sure he's going to like it. We'll see what he thinks. I like it. I'm happy with how it turned out. The body is, uh, all the blues are the same. It's a couple different shades of blue, dry brushed over black, but very, um, not a whole lot of... Uh, of black still showing through. I wanted it to be pretty subtle and I think that worked out. We wanted it to be dark and uh, I, I think it looks the way we wanted it to look. And then the yellow just has a little bit of like a brownish wash over it to give it the detailing. The face has a little bit of shading in it and then the eyes are all white with a black outline. And the hair has a little bit of like a darker yellow mixed in with the light yellow. And uh, that's about it, except for one bonus feature, which the customer doesn't know I did. And what it is, is I made the hands removable so that you could make it look like he was fighting Wolverine and lost. No, I'm just kidding. But the hands are removable, they're held on by magnets, and because, or the reason I did that is because I gave him these energy effect type things 
for his special mutant ability that they just snap in between the hands and so it looks like he's got the rocks and the sonic waves coming up and he's firing those away so the hands come off and then they just go back on with these in between to give him his accessory which I think is effective I saw somebody do this a long time ago and I thought it was cool so I figured what the heck I'm making a havoc I might as well do it too I'm not sure if they did it the same way but I just took uh, I used actually CD cases because I wanted the plastic to be a little bit thicker and more sturdy drew the circles with a silver sharpie and then I sculpted some rocks to go on there as well so I think it's a pretty effective accessory it's relatively simple the lines aren't the easiest thing to do but it makes the figure to stand out a little bit more on the shelf so hopefully the customer likes that I don't see why he wouldn't it's, the wrists are still just as good as any other swivel wrist so I'm thinking it's probably a good idea the articulation is all the same as it would have been originally um, I guess he lost the ankle swivel because the original figure had a swivel at the ankle and this DC figure obviously does not, but I'm fine with that because I don't like that articulation. And I sculpted over the ab crunch. Everything else is still intact and still fully functional. So there it is guys, there is my custom version of Havoc. Let me put his energy effect on just so I can do a cool little pose out of that he's got the windswept hair that is oversized in just about every picture of him so that's why I made it the way I did and I think it turned out but whatever so there's Havoc being all cool with his energy effect and his long flowy hair so thanks for watching guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more custom figures figure reviews and other good stuff and in the meantime keep collecting